French guitar and today's lesson is a special request from Lorenzo Delgado uh, one of our new subscribers and this is for Monica Lewinsky by St. John we did this song on the channel already and I'm going to put the link below but today we're going to be doing a simplified um, version for the same song um, Monica Lewinsky by St. John before we get started, go ahead and give me a like, share, and subscribe because it helps out the channel a lot, and we really appreciate it here at Jonathan French Guitar. So, I'm using a capo to make this uh, to make this song a little bit more simple. I'm taking the capo and I'm putting it on the third fret. So that's capo on the third fret, and I'm going to be using just three chords to play this song. Um, and, the, and the shapes that I'm going to be using are C, G, well, G, and then E minor. Now, I'm saying those chord names um, in regards to, you know, the capo that I, that I just showed you, capo on third fret. And those are the same shapes. So the same way you would play your C without a capo, you know, starting on the third fret, you would play it here now instead. You would play your G here instead and your E minor. So for our C, so now I'm gonna have my third finger is on, my third finger is actually on the sixth fret fifth string sixth fret second finger is going to be on the fourth string fifth fret and first finger is going to be on the second string fourth fret I'm going to strum in this song I'm going to strum from the fifth string to the second string. That's our C, and if you're playing it correctly, that's the way it should sound. Next is going to be G, but in the song, I'm not gonna play it like, like this. In the song, I'm only gonna take, I'm, I'm only gonna take my two fingers, I'm gonna take third finger, I'm gonna put that on the sixth string, on the sixth fret, so that's sixth string, sixth fret, and then second finger is going to go to the fifth string, fifth fret, and I'm going to strum from the sixth string to the second string. If you're playing it correctly, that's the way it should sound. Then our E minor. Our E minor, I'm going to take my second finger, I'm going to put that on the fifth string, fifth fret. Third finger is going to go to the fourth string, fifth fret. So the fifth and the fourth strings on the fifth fret, I'm going to strum from the sixth string to the second string. So for this song, for so for each of the three, so those are the three chords, the C, this G, and E minor. So in this song, I'm only gonna strum each one of the three chords once. Just 
just like that. If you're playing them correctly, then that's that's how it should sound. Uh, I wanted to add in a simple riff that you can do. It's kind of what uh, St. John is um, singing. So we're going to go to the fourth string and you're on, you're going to start off on the 10th fret and then you're going to and then you're going to play the eighth fret also on the um, fourth string. So, so that's 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8. And then you're going to slide from the 10th fret to the 12th fret. So that's what we have. 10, 8, 10, 8, 12. 10, 8, 10, 8, 12. On the um, fourth string and then that's gonna be ten the tenth fret on the fifth string so ten eight ten eight twelve eight ten on the fifth fret so I'm gonna play that a little bit slower Make sure you're sliding up from that 10th fret to the 12th fret. So slide from that 10th fret to that 12th fret, then you just pick that 8th fret, that 4th um, string on the 8th fret, and then pick the 5th um, string on the 10th fret. So. back to one more time and now we're going to play the chords and the riff in context
And that's our tutorial for the day. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, please do not hesitate to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Oh, I can't forget. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you and have a great day.